people, welcome to my channel. It's Hila here, Saturday Night Student. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that you're having a fantastic day wherever you are. Today's post, I'm just going to share with you some fabrics that I have bought over the last uh, three to four weeks now, and some sewing patterns that I picked up on a sale. And because we just recently came out of the Easter holidays, my mother-in-law came to visit me with the packs of uh, sewing patterns that she's picked up during her meanderings in charity shops. So I'm going to be sharing some of those with you today. So without further ado, let's just dive uh, straight into it because, oh my God days so it's wonderful spring has arrived um, here in the north of england so everything is blooming everything is beautiful things are coming up garden needs a lot of work and i've been feeling so much inspiration and so much stuff for the garden for those of you that don't know our garden for the last uh, sort of four or five years it's been an ongoing big project but most of the big structural landscaping stuff is now complete so now i can finally get into the full-on planting so i'm doing a lot of trips to the garden centers a lot of things trying to move things around and see what's going to fit when we've just recently planted a tree for the queen's jubilee so a lot of stuff so it means that i haven't been able to sew in the last like four weeks, I haven't even been into the sewing room. And I've noticed a particular tendency, and I don't know if this is familiar with you is, which is when despite your best wishes, you can't make it into the sewing room and you're not feeling particularly negative about it. So it's not like I'm thinking, oh, you know, it's terrible because I've been doing other things that give me a lot of joy, pleasure um, in life with the gardening. But then I end up buying a lot more fabric and sewing patterns and things like that because i have more projects brewing that i'm actually making so this is how we ended up having more of these because with the last batch of fabrics that i got i told myself i needed to slow down and sew a few more things before i bought some more but i saw these fantastic fabrics and these fantastic patterns so jump straight into them i'm going to start off with a fabric from um pound fabrics because again i'm signed up to the newsletter so i get the newsletter and i'm like oh this is fabulous so i'm going to start off with the the first thing is just a simple black uh, polyester fabric which was one pound uh, per meter and this is to make costumes for my daughters uh, they do drama uh, they go to a drama club and as part of the summer production that they're doing it's set in like a 1920s speakeasy um, club so I have to make them these flapper style dresses and I thought they're very simple because they just go straight down put a little bit of frills and trims around them so I got this um, to make them those and I'll make them just some simple black headbands with some black uh, feathers because uh, that's like the 1920s um, singer look. So I got this one uh, for them and oh my gosh, they're growing so fast, so, so fast. And then the other thing that I got, which actually mm, propelled me onto the site is the yarn dyed chambres. I'm a huge fan of chambray and I love, 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 love chambray. I love chambray shirts, I love chambray shirt dresses. I already have loads of chambray in my stash, but when I saw this, I was like, I need to get it. And I'm gonna show you the best one first. And this is the fuchsia pink and it's a yarn dyed 100% cotton chambray. And it's a very lightweight one. So this is perfect for summer sewing, summer shirts, summer blouses, summer tops, summer shirts, dresses. It's just really, really gorgeous. And of course it's in my colors. <laughs> Look at that. And I just love this. And I got four meters of this particular one because I was just like, I'm going to make a shirt. I'm going to make a, and then when that shirt becomes tatty, I'm going to make another shirt because it's such a gorgeous, gorgeous fabric. There you go. See if you can see that. So I'm not sure why it's called yarn dyed because I don't know whether it's yarn. So this has nine different colorways nine different colorways. So I got the fuchsia pink and I also got the denim blue, which in my mind is more of a sky blue. So you look at that. So this one is to make shirts for my husband. So I've been looking for a sky blue shirt for him. We have one in a denim chambray, but it's a medium weight one. So it's quite thick and he finds that he gets too warm in it easily. So we needed one for a spring and I ordered a few from Max and Spencer's and from Larry Dude and they came but they just weren't the right shade or they didn't have the right fit so I had to send those back so when I saw this and I actually received it and I saw what it looked like I was like bingo that's the one so I got four meters so that I can make a shirt for him and if that gets tatty I'll be able to replace that shirt so it's really really beautiful beautiful fabric and then I also got it in the dark gray which is more like a charcoal charcoal gray look at that 
really, really beautiful. And again, this is to make a shirt for my husband. So I got two meters of this, I got four meters, and I got four meters of that. And then as if that wasn't enough, once I received them and I saw how really gorgeous they were, I put in another order for the mint. So they've got the same fabric in the mint and mint is in one of my colors. So I was like, I'm going to get that. And I'm also getting the light pink because with pound fabrics, you never know. Once they sold out, they sold out. That's it, you know? And yeah, so I picked those up and I was very, very happy, very happy with these ones um, that I got. The next thing is fabric from Minerva, part of my brand ambassador mate. And I saw this and I was just like, oh, how cute is it? It's a cotton poplin, 100% cotton. And it's a poplin, so it's slightly lightweight, perfect for shirts um, and blouses because it will hold a crisp collar very nicely and a placket. And it irons like a dream does poplin. I do like sewing with poplin. So as you can see, there is not even, well, no, there's a little bit of warmth over here. But otherwise, this is a very cool tone fabric. And it's like a navy background with like a fuchsia pink little flowers. So it's got a really lovely retro vibe to it. And the moment I saw this, I knew that this was going to be some sort of a dress. I don't know, maybe like an um, avid seamstress dress. Or it could be a shirt dress. There's a, a shirt dress in the Breda 5 2022 that I really like. So this is one of the potential ones. Because uh, I'm actually thinking of using the plain one as well. Plain chambray for the shirt dress, but I don't know. I haven't figured it out yet. I haven't had time to think about what I want to make because we're going off camping um, over the bank holiday. We're going to be camping in the Lake District. And I've just sectioned off an entire section of the dining room to start packing because there's so much stuff that's going on on the Thursday and the Friday. And then we're going for the three nights, which is going to be really exciting. But all of the sewing stuff has to be done after I come back um, from that. But I was just so I'm so excited. I really, really am so excited because I feel like I'll have so much time to get into the sewing room. And then the other thing is the very aptly named um, plush cuddle fleece, which, oh, it is just the softest. So this is a, a Galaxy's Cosmic Celestial, and it is so smooth, right? And on the reverse, you can see the smoothiness, the plushiness. It's like so smooth, like a plushy. And it is so, so super comfortable. Now, unfortunately, this one isn't for me. This is for my son who is turning 10 in June. So I'm actually going to make him like a really nice house coat and blanket set because he really is a very tactile sort of child and he loves things that have got like a smooth texture and things like that. And so I thought that this would be lovely because he's into astronomy and things to do with space. Was it astronomy or astrophysics? I, I don't know. He's into all of that scientific -y stuff and he's constantly spouting facts about planets and what have you so when i saw this i just thought it's going to be perfect for him so that's going to be a birthday present for him so i need to get onto sewing this straight away i haven't yet sourced the pattern for um the house coat uh the blanket i think i can figure out how to do that one it is quite wide uh as well let me see oh gosh i forgot to show you how wide so this is quite wide i'd say this is um probably 47 inches or possibly 50 inches wide so really wide. Um, so those are the fabrics, really gorgeous fabrics, a lot of cool tones, a lot of navy, which I'm absolutely loving a lot of these days. And then Simplicity had a half price sale and I had a little bit of a gander on the Simplicity half price sale. Um, yes, yes, this is more of a triumph of hope over practicalities, but you know what? I would rather live a hopeful life <laughs> than one very restrictive say she who wants to make excuses for buying more and more patterns right okay so we'll start off with the vintage patterns i've been just enjoying so much the vintage stuff uh so i have here a 1940s vintage blouse i really like the illustrations and if you see the blouse has got like these um shoulder you know the shoulder detail the really emphasized shoulder uh, thingy oh i can't remember the name of it but you know within the soft gamine you you talk about um shoulder detail and the tapered cuffs over here and tapered at the neckline it's very similar if you if you think about it in style to what i am wearing now because you know you've got the shoulder detail and you've got the tapered cuffs and it's sort of like tapered but this one's got an interesting apple letty detail with some gathering over there same goes for this one, even though it's got some lace. And this one's got a cute Peter Pan collar. So I just thought, well, it's on half price. I could see myself making this and wearing this, um, you know, eventually. So this was Simplicity 8736 uh, from the Vintage line. The other one that I got is to do with gardening. So I'm out in the garden quite a lot. I'm almost going out daily right now because that's how you have to try and keep on top of the weeds. Um, but still, <laughs> you got to do that anyway. And I want something a bit more stylish. Currently, I just wear 
I have these um, old yoga pants made out of a scuba fabric and like the zipper thing, or I'll wear an orange boiler suit, which has been fine, but I feel like, you know, I'm a woman of a certain age now and I want to look a little bit more elevated as I'm digging around in the garden. <laughs> that was the thought process. And so I decided to get this Rosie the Riveter 1940s style um, coverall here that I can just pop over whatever I'm wearing, um, particularly leggings. Obviously, if I'm wearing a skirt, I'll have to change out of it. And make that. So that's Simplicity 8447. So that's going to be made in like a dill. Drill, no, not dill. Dill is a herb. <laughs> drill, in a cotton drill, so something quite hard wearing. Uh, I'll probably make it in about one or two sizes up so that it's for me enough for me to just put it over other things. So that was that one. Those were the two things that I got from the vintage. And then the other stuff I got for um, my daughters who would love this bag here. So this is Simplicity 8102. And it's just got this pattern for this big bag. And that's why I bought this because um, they're doing a lot more sewing and they're a lot more interested in sewing. And then the other thing was a pattern for dolls dresses they've got a couple of dolls uh, that they would love to make dresses for and I thought that this would be a good way to introduce them to how to use uh, paper patterns so pick this up during the half price sale which is pretty awesome I'm going to just show you two of the patterns from my or from my mother-in-law she gave me quite a stack of patterns this time around but two really stood out for me so number one is Vogue 9155 as you can see, the trousers are very much the cigarette pant, very slim fitting, uh, tapered at the waist and tapered at the cuff as well. And those, you know, I would consider making these. And the other one is Vogue 9706. I really like this top here. So I actually got the pattern out to start cutting it, but then something happened with the children and I had to go do stuff. With it. But I'm definitely thinking of making this one here version uh, view A. And uh, this time she got all of the patterns with the correct sizing, which was um, pretty cool. And it's always really, really very sweet when she's thinking about me and thinking of picking up these um, for 50p or something like that. So those are the things that I have added to my uh, fabric and my patterns collection. And I am looking forward to sewing with them. Hopefully there's going to be a bit more time for me to sew in May, in April. There's been a lot of stuff uh, going on uh, within my life, within the kids' life, within the gardens and what have you. So I'm, I'm really looking forward to May. I'm very, very excited for May. I feel like it's going to be fantastic. And definitely here in England, spring properly well and truly arrives mostly in May because that's when we can kind of say we're done with the frost. <laughs> so anyway, enough rambling from me. Thank you so much for watching. If you've reached until the end, thank you so much. You rock. You're awesome. Please do remember to like, and to subscribe because it just helps with the YouTube algorithm, which unfortunately is part of life on YouTube. So the more you like, the more you comment, the more the video goes out to other people and we can just continue to grow this community. And I'll see you next time. Love you people. <laughs> Happy sewing. Bye.